Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video we're going to be taking a material from Polygon.com, bringing it into 3ds Max using our material converter, and finally rendering it out with Octane. First though, let's take a look at the um, files that we'll be needing for this. We'll be needing the uh, wood flooring 044 material, and also the Polygon material converter add-on for 3ds Max both of which I already have saved to my hard drive and I'll include a link below the video uh, to them. Right, let's head over to Max. Okay, so this is our scene that we're going to be working on during this video. Um, very simple scene, it's just a floor plane, a physical camera and I've also set up a, a HDR lighting. So the first step is going to be to install our material converter. Now I already have it installed, it's sitting here next to my material editor but let's walk through the process of doing that. So, this is the zip folder downloaded from the website. Uh, inside you'll find a couple of different files. The one we need though is this Polygon Material Converter installation file. You just drag that anywhere on the viewport and it'll pop up a little window saying that it's been installed correctly. You can just click OK on that. And that's it, that's the, that's the plugin installed. All we need to do is put a button for it somewhere on our taskbar. So to do that, go to Customize, Customize User Interface. Give it a moment to pop up. Um, and then you'll need to go to Toolbars, under the Category section, select Polygon, and then just drag this Polygon button anywhere you want it to go. As I said, I've put mine next to the Material Editor because that seemed to make sense. Now to use the Material Converter, just give it a click, and you'll get this little pop-up come up uh, with a couple of different options and whatnot. The textures folder is the first one we'll look at and that's where you tell the converter where to look for the materials that you've saved. So in my case I've got a polygon directory here with materials and inside that are all the different polygon materials materials <laughs> that I currently have saved. Um, and you could just select that folder and the converter would literally load them all up and bring them all into 3ds Max which would be which might be what you want to do if you're working on a large scene. Um, but in my case I'm just going to select the wood flooring 044 folder uh, so we only bring in that material. There we go and you can see it says one material was found which is good. Next up is the renderer choice. Now by default the converter will automatically detect what renderer your scene set up to use and select it for you but if you do need to change that then you just click there and pick. Underneath that we've got some advanced options um, most of which, in fact all of which are perfect uh, for, for what we need them for, so I'm going to leave those as they are and hit convert. You get a little pop-up saying that the material has been loaded successfully, just click OK, close down the converter and that's the material now loaded into Max. So if we click on the editor now, or the material editor I should say, you'll see a little temporary library down here that the uh, converter's created and it's brought in our wood flooring texture. So I'm going to drag that into my node view so we can take a look at what it's done. There we go. So as you can see, it's well, let's put that in the wrong place. That that, that offends my digital OCD a little, I think. Um, <laughs> but it's it's brought in the the textures. We've got the color, reflection, gloss, normal, and displacement maps all loaded in and plugged into the shader, all ready to go. So now I'm going to go and select the floor plane and then I'm going to right mouse button on the material and hit assign material to selection. Like so, and then drag that along there a little bit. And now if I click on the render setup button and go to kernel and then double click on the Octane render viewport, it will give us a, uh, a look at what the material looks like. Now, there are a, a few issues here. <laughs> the uh, displacement being the first one, um, it's set way too high, um, which you will find with a lot of materials because it's it's dependent on a on a lot of factors. You you will tend to have to adjust the displacement a little. So to do that, let's click on our displacement node, and you see this option here, height. Basically, we just need to lower that. Now I think a value of about 0 0.005 should be right. There we go. Already looking a lot better. Yeah, I think we can stick with that. The other thing to pay attention to here is the effect that the gloss map is having on our scene. At the moment this floor is looking, well, the reflections are looking blurred, The it's not shiny enough, not, not compared to the reference images on our website, so we want to adjust that. Okay. 
Now that's quite easy to do. Just bring the gloss map over a little bit to give us some room. Right mouse button and then go to maps, octane, and then multiply texture. Okay. And what a multiply node does is essentially multiply the texture that's being inputted. Yeah. So if I input this into texture one, it's currently being multiplied by one, so it's the, the node's having no effect whatsoever. If I were to uh, plug this into roughness, you'll notice that there's absolutely no impact whatsoever. But if I multiply it by zero, that effectively cancels out the texture completely. And you'll see we now have a really shiny, shiny floor. Too shiny. Um, so what we want is a value somewhere in the middle. So let's go for exactly in the middle, 0.5. Maybe a little higher, maybe 0.6. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. It's starting to look a little bit more like you'd expect from a floor. I still think the displacement might be slightly too high, so let's change that to 0 0.002. Yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to look like a, a nice wooden floor. And that is pretty much it. Um, I've already got the viewport set to the resolution I'd normally do a final render at, so we don't even need to do a final render. We can see that's working perfectly. So yeah, job done. So in summary, we've downloaded a material from polygon.com, brought it into 3ds Max using our material converter, and made some slight adjustments to the displacement strength and put in a multiply node to give us a little bit more control over the gloss map.